the figures are dizzying. Close to 20 million new cars sold in China in 2014. That's one out of four cars sold worldwide, making China the highest volume market on the planet. On the other hand, pollution is hitting record levels in the major Chinese cities. That's why China is betting on the electric car as a solution to its environmental problems. Encouraged by governmental incentives, demand is growing so quickly that experts now expect China to be the top EV market by 2020. Zhang Shuei isn't waiting five years. He already drives a Venusia E30, similar to the Nissan LEAF, but made locally by Nissan and the Chinese manufacturer Dongfeng, who have a joint venture. For this Beijing resident, going electric is good for the environment and a practical measure to stay mobile. First, the in addition to this no-hassle registration process, Zhang Shuei has economic reasons for buying electric. In China, EVs qualify for incentives that can be as much as 16,000 euros in some cities. These government incentives have helped the EV market take off. 75,000 sales in 2014 and nearly double that for the first quarter of 2015. EV enthusiasts are now urging China to keep up with these measures beyond 2017, when they could be phased out. The only cars that qualify for China's EV incentives are those that are built in the country. That's been a big boost for local low-cost manufacturers who build small, relatively inexpensive cars often found on the Chinese market and nowhere else. But major global brands are also bringing EVs to China in order to help the country reach its ambitious goal of 1 million new energy vehicles by 2020 and 3 million by 2025. All this seems reasonable, as long as charging station coverage can keep pace. Because the Chinese government has invested 16 billion euros in new charging stations for EVs. Will China build the world's biggest quick charge network? Will Chinese people literally breathe easier as zero emission cars replace conventional vehicles? Will China become the world's biggest advocate for sustainable transportation? Only time will tell, but the future in the world's most populous country looks greener than ever before.